Hey, everybody. So I often think this, but this is literally the um, most like profound video that I've made so far um, and like the best video that I've made so far uh, as far as what I'm going to cover within this. So this is self-organized criticality simulation via spectral perturbation and resonance metrics. And then up front, I'm not the original creator of this method. This is another Ash Kelly method. And then so very specifically kind of like, so how I kind of work and we work as a company is that, so if one of us does something and, and finds something, then we, we like, um, make sure <laughs> beforehand, uh, and, and internally, like it's, it's, um, double checked by multiple people. Right. And then for me, very specifically, uh, just being honest, like a lot of my team is mathematicians, like, uh, like my whole team is, is mathematicians basically. Right. And then, so, uh, it gets checked by multiple people. And then if we can reproduce it, then that is like, then it's viable. Right. And then, so with this method, this isn't my, like, this isn't my method and I'm not the original creator of it. And then I just, I'm able to reproduce this method. And I'm able to very, very simplistically reproduce this method via stock market data. I took yesterday's stock market data and I'll dive into that very specifically uh, as to what the model is that I'm um, showcasing here and the model that I'm releasing here, but, uh, and the details about that. And then very specifically overall within this, the thing I want to highlight before I dive into that is that uh, how we're able to do this is, and, and um, showcasing that, like, like why this works uh is so here's our, our here's our proof for ryman uh and then uh so it's 12 part series of proofs it's 12 proofs basically uh and then part 12 is the, the final proof right it's it, it puts it all to it. so part one through part 11 are to prove part 12 <laughs> and and uh Part 12 is uh, this a final equation, so a, a unified algebraic resonant theory of prime gaps. There you go. Uh, and then uh, we have 11 theories that back up this theory uh, so into uh, this particular conclusion here. Uh, and then also, too, the other major thing that I want to uh, pay attention to that you will find within um, the uh, this particular folder is this paper as well, um, Self-Organized Criticality in Spectral Systems, Mathematical and Computational Documentation. And you'll notice this very specifically is only Ash Kelly. Uh, and then this is essentially a the uh, mathematical formulations of Ash Kelly's uh, work on, on this, like uh, uh, the, the uh, formulas that he can't create, created. These are like all <laughs> Ash Kelly formulas. E everything listed in here, 100% is an Ash Kelly formula. Just like, uh, I, I, like I want that like highlighted and, and, and pointing that out, right? So the two like critical documents that I would pay attention to would be, uh, of course, part 12. And then it, like, here's like the mathematical formulations, the big mathematical formulations from the papers in a second. And so as you can see, part one through 12, right? Uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll link you, uh, to part one through 12 here so you can have it all. Um, so <laughs> you'll have it, uh, here for whatever, uh, purposes that for review, uh, anything there. Um, so there's all the mathematical equations, right? And then so I'm like flat out stating it. Um, the reason why this system works <laughs> is because we have a proof of the Ryman hypothesis um, that is working in practice and in and, and principle. I'm, I'm, I'm like, uh, so this is March 15th, 2025. I'm utilizing within this notebook here, uh, stock market data from March 14, 2025. Like I'm utilizing stock market data from yesterday uh, and I'm going to show you that the model converges on it. Um, and then I'm going to show you the consequences and what that means, uh, as to a model converging on stock market data from yesterday. And then, so, uh, let's dive into this specifically, right? So, uh, this notebook explores a self-organized criticality and dynamics using spectral methods and adaptive perturbation models. It presents a novel simulation framework that perturbs a structured eigenvalue system, including Ryman zeta zeros or real world financial data like stock market pricing with Hermitian chaotic matrices and observes system stabilization via spectral rigidity, fractal geometry, and power law behavior. Again, this has already been checked, verified, uh, and across the board via what you're seeing here, via the research and uh, multiple researchers across the world, like on, on my team. And then so key components include um, Hermitian chaos injection, random matrix generation, utilizing and using 
complex Gaussian ensembles to model stochastic perturbations while maintaining physical constraints, so Hermitian property. And then uh, the uh, here, there's a lot of mathematical breakdown, and then there's a lot of uh, mathematical breakdown within the 12 papers that uh, we include within this as well that you can dissect as well, right? But so most people want to know um, what, what can you do with perturbed perturb stock market data? Most people are familiar with stock market data as a sequence of prices over time, but there's a deeper layer of insight that becomes possible when you apply perturbation techniques like those used in physics and chaos theory. Perturbing stock market data means intentionally introducing controlled noise or disturbance to see how the system behaves under stress, randomness, or unexpected fluctuations. While this might sound abstract, it opens up fascinating possibilities. Essentially, you treat the stock market data itself as a system. Like every system that you create with this is a self-contained system, a self-organized system, right? So why would you do this to stock market data specifically? One, this reveals hidden patterns. Perturbation can be, help highlight underlying structures, correlations, or self-organizing behavior that are hard to see in the raw price data. Think of it as shaking a puzzle box slightly to see how the puzzles set, pieces settle. Two, test system stability. Just like engineers stress test bridges, we can stress test financial systems to see how they react. This reveals which market dynamics are stable and which are fragile or chaotic. Three, detect critical transitions. Many complex systems like markets, ecosystems, or neural networks can suddenly shift from calm to chaotic. Perturbed data can help detect when a system is approaching such a tipping point. Four, Model market intelligence. By treating price behavior as an emergent phenomenon, we can study how markets organize themselves almost like a living organism and how resonance patterns or fractal structures form in price data. Five, simulate what-if scenarios. Control perturbation allows you to simulate unexpected events like a shock or a policy change and study how the market might respond without waiting for it to happen in real life. Six, you can train smarter algorithms from this. Think of it like this. Raw stock prices show what happened. Perturbed stock prices data helps us understand why it happened, how fragile the system is, and what could happen next better than any other algorithm. Flat out. So, and then this, let's showcase this self-organizing system. Right? And then so a few tests here, it's just um, running. And then so again, this is all utilizing the math from our Ryman hypothesis, <laughs> 12, like 12 research papers, uh, go ahead, you know, all stacking up. Please look through them if you have any questions at all regarding the math. Uh, and then so within this, what we can see is that the system comes to full and perfect stabilization in this instance. Like this is a, a beautiful, like almost perfect test, right? There's a, a little bit of deviation, which is good, right? So uh, 2.0920 compared to 2.0 is the target. And then 0 0.6768 was the target. And then it hits 68. Uh, and then our power hash threshold of under three and it gets 1.45. So good on like uh, on that around. Like, and again, not perfect metrics across the board, which is good. And then so next test we go through and let's make it harder, right? So um, let's give it like a actual stock market data in this instance. And then so I'm going to show you two instances of it converging on stock market data, right? Uh, just, you know, making sure that it's not, not fluky. Uh, and then so uh, here we go. First test, uh, stock stabilizes uh, iteration 12. Uh, and then here's all of the graph. Uh, here's This is yesterday's stock market data. <laughs> uh, and then uh, here we go, like very, very, like even better, like metrics, even closer to the target metrics here uh, than on the, the base test, right? So like this model perform is performing better on this stock market data because that's, I mean, Stock market data is um, very like it, 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 it's uh, rocket fuel for for this kind of model. Like that's so that's why I'm testing on it, right? Um, and then so then we go here, uh, and then here's our next test. Uh, it converges iteration ten, <laughs> so ten iterations, and these are like it's little, like one second, right? Like one second, two seconds is it, it, it's. I mean, boom. Uh, and then so and then we can see uh, we look at the graphs uh, and it's actual convergence, right? And then if you, I mean, just if you want to look through the data. Uh, here's all the code, right? It's yesterday's stock market data, uh, and then um, boom, here we go. Uh, uh, Almost perfect, <laughs> like, 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 uh, so 2.13 compared to the target of 2.0, 1.0 compared to the target of 1.0, and a 2.9057 compared to the target threshold of just below three. Uh, so, like, um, what more can I say with that? Uh, there, there that is, and here this is. 
with this model. And then so very specifically, I want to talk about uh, the licensing for this model in this notebook very specifically, right? So <laughs> I'm not showing showcasing Ash Kelly's work. Uh, like Ash Kelly's notebook is a different notebook than this one. And then so uh, here's uh, like, I, I, uh, I don't want to, uh, I, I don't know what, what Ash Kelly wants to do as far as like showcasing his work. The one thing I want to show you within his work is, is this, this is it. Right. Um, and then, so within this, this is, uh, what the model looks like <laughs> and, and what is happening, uh, within this just, so just to, to showcase within your mind and, 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 and understand, uh, it's, it's literally, it's, self-organizing right it's it's learning it's teaching itself it's adjusting its structure it's address adjusting its shape uh, based off of what it needs to in order to to learn this data overall um, but so within this if you are an individual and you want to use this stock market model that i'm showcasing here you can use it 100 percent like, like um, use it all you want if you're a hedge fund if you're a company if you're a corporation on any level you are not allowed to use this <laughs> like uh flat out uh you can contact us if you want uh, uh like commercial if you want to talk about like commercial licensing on like on uh, a very high level <laughs> but, but uh uh like flat out the initial thing is like if like if you are an individual, uh, meaning like like one singular person, not a group of people, not like a, a consortium, not like anything that would like get hit with RICO statutes, then you would uh, you can use this uh, un like unlimited whatever you want to use it for. If you would get hit by RICO statutes, if you're a corporation, if you're uh, an entity of any kind that is made up of more than one individual, you do not have access to this. Uh, and then so uh, you do have access to, to you can like, prove out our mining hypothesis here if you want. And then again, I'll, I'll leave you full access. Feel free to do that. Uh, and then so I'll leave you access to both the notebook here uh, as well as this. Again, the licensing is restricted on, on what you're looking at with this notebook here. Uh, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much.